Knitting is a necessity when working with surfaces. Unlike solids that are smart about what faces and edges belong to them, what volume is inside versus outside, surfaces live in their own individual worlds. Unless you tell a surface that another surface is nearby, it has no idea and will act as if other surfaces don't exist. If you think back to our discussion about multi-body parts in earlier lessons, you might remember that solids can be separate bodies, even if they're touching. In order to make multiple bodies behave as if they're one, you have to tell them to be a single body by using the combined feature. Think of the knit feature as the combined feature for surfaces. Here's a simple illustration of this behavior. What I have in this part are two surfaces and a sketch. You can see in the Surface Bodies folder in the Feature Manager tree that each separate surface is listed, much like separate bodies are listed in the Solid Bodies folder. I'll use the sketch to create a boss extrude. The end condition for the extrusion will be up to surface. Notice when I select the planar surface, SolidWorks automatically extends the extruded solid to the imaginary extension of the planar surface. It completely ignores the presence of the curved surface on the other side. I'll cancel out of this extrusion and introduce the Knit Surface feature. The Knit Surface command lets you combine two or more surfaces together to form a single surface. You can launch it from the Insert, Surfaces drop-down menu, or from the Surfacing toolbar. It's easy to knit a surface. Really all you need to do is select the surfaces you'd like to join and click the green check. The only condition is that the surfaces must join at an edge. If the surfaces overlap, you can activate the Merge Entities checkbox and the Knit tool will merge any redundant or overlapping faces into a single surface. Also, if the surfaces enclose a volume, you can activate the Try to Form Solid checkbox and the Knit Surfaces tool will automatically form a solid. With the two surfaces selected, I can click the green check and the Surface Knit feature is completed. It's automatically added to the Feature Manager tree. Notice the Surface Bodies folder contains only a single surface. Now I'll repeat the Boss Extrude to see how the behavior of the surface has changed. Before concluding this lesson, there are a couple more things that I'd like to mention about knit surfaces. There may be cases when the surfaces you're trying to knit have a small gap between them. If you run into this situation, you can use the Gap Control option to identify small gaps between surfaces in your model. With the surfaces selected in the Knit Surfaces Property Manager, simply adjust the sliders, and any hard-to-find gaps within the range will be displayed in the box below. Also, in some cases, it's necessary to replicate a face, or several faces, of a solid body. In such cases, if you wish to create a perfect copy of an existing face, Knit Surface is the simplest tool to use. Just click the Knit Surface icon, select the faces you wish to replicate, and click OK. If I hide the solid body, you can see the result clearly.